Chris here from Barnyard Outdoors. Starting my day around the campsite a little late this morning. Going to make some coffee, but I wanted to give a quick tour of my, uh, I don't know what you call it, my camp kitchen, I guess. Um, this is a, a Gazelle G5 Gazebo. And uh, inside this, I store my camp fridge, um, all of my cook kit gear, my pantry items, just kind of a a mix match of things that that I want to keep a little more secure in the gazebo and keep away from bugs and keep in the shade now if you look at this this is a, a five-sided gazebo made by gazelle and uh, the model I have did also include three extra side panels here I've got the side panels on it gives me a little more shade um, and it also kind of blocks the view for people that might be out up on the road driving by so they don't really see what I've got in there the other thing I have out here is this I've got uh, some EcoFlow these are the 160 watt solar panels and these are currently uh, dumping power into my uh, Delta 2 battery station which is of course powering my uh, my fridge so let's go inside take a look what I got it's kind of a mess in here but this is you know this is the real world right easy to get into plenty of room to stand up in this thing so we'll just kind of walk around and and show you what I got here so I got a table here and this table has got a couple of these Dometic water jugs this one is is pretty much empty this one I will switch over to and I do have one of these fancy pumps the things are great um, I'm gonna be making coffee here in a bit so I can just put that under there fill it up with the push of a button it's just kind of a, a great system I've got my my coffee um, I've got some extra coffee here some paper towels you might recognize this this is my refrigerator this is my Iceco APL 20 and uh, a couple people asked me what I think of this unit and uh, and let me tell you I love it so much I bought the cover for it this is their insulated cover bought that with my own money but the uh, the fridge has been working great it's nice to be able to have a little extra insulation on it we'll take a look inside this is gonna be just a mess but you can see I've got well you know big bag of candy um, I've got some some breakfast item there I've got one apple left some little mini Mountain Dews and just a bunch of miscellaneous items and over here I've got, uh, I got butter got a little cheese and cracker plate and then some small meat packs for sandwiches but this thing has been running great for me I've been really happy with it and it is super efficient I wasn't sure how much power I would need when I came out here so I brought my Delta 2 and the spare battery and this is this is about two kilowatts of power here and uh, and honestly with the solar charging I probably didn't even need to solar charge it the uh, the power consumption on this has been about six percent of that capacity a day um, it's it's just it's working great um, but probably a little overkill for such an efficient fridge and then I've just got that setting on top of the the bag um, over here I've got another table I've got uh, some miscellaneous items. This is the bag for my camp stove in here. This is uh, kind of like my pantry box and I've got some cooking items. I've got uh, plates and, and cups and some bread and just a bunch of miscellaneous pantry items and dry goods. And then over here, I kind of have a general purpose bag, just a dump bag that I, I throw things in, extra fuel flask um, some cooking oil of course the uh, the out in espresso maker um, it's just kind of a good place to kind of dump things in and not worry about them and then uh, down here I've got a water jug that's an Ozark trail one gallon water jug and these things have great ice retention I've got my little Yeti cup here and then I've got my old Yeti roadie 24 which I've got some ice in um, just in case I want ice and drinks but that's about it I mean there's there's, there's a lot of room in this oh, I guess I do have one other thing here on the side this this big thing 
is this is a, a uh, Lucy solar string light set and I've got the string lights kind of just run up all around the gazebo and uh, I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can kind of see what that looks like it's a little overkill it looks kind of fancy uh, the nice thing is it's a nice subtle light to where you can walk in here you're not blinded and there's no shadows at night so it's very easy to navigate around and get what you might need and that's it that's it for the tour of the gazebo so i've been doing this type of setup for a couple years now especially on long campouts, and it seems to work really well for me but i want to hear from you is this something that you would set up do you go camping and have this type of more of a glamping setup for a kitchen area um, go ahead and put that in the comments below Remember to like this video if you like this type of content and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everybody for watching.